So the next topic we're going to discuss is dictionaries. So what is a dictionary? So a dictionary is basically a container that keeps an association between keys value pairs. Okay. What does that mean? So if you uh, in normal dictionaries, like how does a normal dictionary work? So when you open a dictionary, go to a specific uh, word, you can read the word and then read its uh, description or definition, right? So the key is the word and the value or the uh, is the description or the definition. Okay, so you can think of it in, in that manner. So keys have specific values. A given key may point out to the same value also, okay? But these values are uh, not necessarily the same value. I mean, they'll be their own key value pairs. So although it's showing that Eve uh, is associated with the color blue, right? And Juliet is also associated with color blue. That does not necessarily mean that it's the same blue. So Eve is associated with blue one. Juliet is associated with blue two. Okay. So keys are unique, meaning you cannot have a repetition in terms of keys. In values, you can have repetition, meaning you can have the same values. However, uh, the compiler stores them as uh, separate values. Okay. For example, so colors are these red, green, and blue. Um, and favorite colors. So these are both sets. How do you create a dictionary? You create a dictionary using uh, the colon command. Okay. Or the colon uh, character. So keys and values. So this is a set of colors. This is a dictionary. And in dictionary you have a key. Then you put a colon. And a. Uh, value then comma key value so the first thing is key the second thing is value so this is one v key value pair this is another key value pair if you want to create an empty dictionary you use empty curly braces okay so how do you create dictionaries like i said you can have key value pairs uh, both do not have to be of the same type. You can have, for instance, your keys are here string and the values are integers. But whatever the first element, uh, uh, the convention, the first element follows, all elements in the dictionary have to follow the same convention. Like whether string first and uh, values are integers or vice versa, your keys can be integers, your values can be strings. Both can be strings and all the combinations. Okay. So that's how we just create a dictionary similar to a set. The only difference you use the colon. Key comes first. Uh, value comes second. Comma. Second key. Second value. Third key. Third value and so on. Okay. If you want to duplicate or copy a dictionary. You use the dict command. Okay. So this was the first dictionary, you say dict, first dictionary, put it in another dictionary. So you just created a copy of the dictionary. Then the subscript operator, which is these uh, square brackets is used to return the value that's associated with a given key. Okay, so for instance, if you want to know Fred's number, you say, dictionary name and in the curly brace uh, brackets you give a um, uh, a valid member valid string that is in our case did fred exist in the dictionary yes it did so this number will be returned let's say if if instead of fred i give ralph let's say so contacts ralph okay so the key supplied must be a valid key in the dictionary. Is Ralph a valid key? 
No. So what happens? An exception will be raised, meaning an error will occur. So you will have to handle this exception. Okay. And value can only be accessed using its associated key. You just cannot ask uh, or give a value here to find its key. You should know the key in order to find the value. Okay. Then to find whether a key is present in a dictionary or not, again, if you remember the in keyword, you can use in if this given key is in this dictionary, do something. Okay. Go and retrieve its value. Okay. Else, another message. Okay. Then, often you want to uh, use a default value if a key is not present. Okay. So instead of using the in operator, you can simply call the get method and pass the key and a default value. Okay. So what does this default value do using the get method? So if you say get Fred, let's say, and comma 411, if Fred exists in the this dictionary, which is contacts, you will get Fred's value. If Fred does not exist, then 411 is returned in its place and that is being assigned to number that you can print here. Okay. So in case of Ralph, let's say we say contacts.ralph411. Then number is 411. In case of Fred, is 411 returned? No, it's not but this number is returned 7235591 okay so that's the purpose of default keys or the get function then it's also a mutable container meaning it can increase and decrease in size to add you just put a new key in square brackets with the dictionary name and a new value okay so it will create uh, or add it in uh, wherever it wants okay again uh, the ordering is not important in uh, these key sets or dictionaries okay and let's say if a key already existed let's say john and you want to add a new john right so it will not add another john but it will overwrite john's value why? Because if you remember, in, in the beginning of this uh, dictionaries slides, I said dictionaries have um, unique keys, right? So the keys have to be unique. Values, on the other hand, can be repeated. So you cannot have Johns, two Johns, you will have to call them John 1 and John 2 if you want to store both Johns, okay? Then can you create uh, an empty dictionary? Yes, with the curly braces. And to add elements as needed, you can just give the dictionary name, give a key value, key value, key value, and so on, okay? And to remove elements, you just use the pop function. So if you, this is your list, Sarah, Bob, John, Mary, Fred, you say pop Fred, your list like Fred is gone with his value. So the key of Fred is gone with the associated value and the remaining members stay. Again, ordering does not matter. And the uh, pop method will return uh, the value of the popped element so you can either use it, store it, or just do nothing with it, okay? And if it's not in the dictionary, the pop method will raise an exception. Like if the Fred is not in contact, it will raise an exception, so you should do something like this. That if it is in the contact, then pop, right? Otherwise else, do nothing, okay? Then to traverse or iterate over a dictionary, 
the same for command for element in or for variable in container container here is a dictionary do something use this variable or key or iterator whatever okay so this key is the same then if you want to uh, use the sorted function or like iterate in a sorted manner you can do that just use the sorted keyword example is here so it will uh, sort the keys like based on keys so b comes before f become uh, comes before j comes before n and so on okay and again if you remember the output what's this doing so this is the first placeholder we are saying uh, 10 spaces for a string and then put a, a decimal number with these so the first placeholder will have this thing the key the second placeholder will have this thing which is the value and how do you access the value you give the dictionary name and in the brackets you give the key name what is key so these keys or the this variable is the same as the one that use in you use in the for loop to iterate over this container our container is contacts but we just supplied the sorted keyword so first bob comes next fred comes and so on okay so data records it's just saying that you can create a dictionary called record right to store a data record so you can just create an item for each data record so this is one record if you want to create for another student that will be record two record three for the third student and so on and in the record you can store everything regarding a given student so here the key is id value is 100 name is sally roberts and so on so you can use this record and name and get all the other things for this same record and that is essentially our i think one of our labs that you guys can do these slides basically give you information make sure you read them of all the things that i just said okay and that is all about dictionaries